Tan Tuan Eng, the author of The Garden of the Evening Mist. The novel is about Teo Yun Ling, who is a retired High Court judge in Malaysia. She has to take early retirement because she's suffering from aphasia, which will rob her of her ability to communicate, to understand language and to understand writing. She returns to Yugiri, the Garden of Evening Mist, in the Cameron Highlands, where 40 years ago, she went there to ask the former gardener of the Emperor of Japan to create a memorial garden for her sister, who had died in a prisoner of war camp during the Second World War. I think it was Milan Kundera who said that we are all separated from the past by two forces. The force of forgetting, which erases, and the force of memory, which transforms. As, as a writer, I'm aware that memory is one of our strongest tools. If we didn't have memories, we, there's nothing for us to write about. In Yun Ling's case, she's suffering from aphasia, so she's unsure how that is going to affect her memory. But she knows for sure that she is losing the ability to understand and recognize language. She is losing the ability to recognize handwriting or signboards. So there will come a time when people will speak to her and she might not even recognize what is being said to her. And it's something which scares her. Well, Aritomo is also complex figure as well. He's quite mysterious and we don't know why he ended up in Malaya in the Cameron Highlands until very much towards the end of the book. These are two very strong characters and they're circling around each other warily trying to see who, would, who is going to give in first. I was introduced to a Japanese man during dinner a few years ago and he was uh, the gardener of the Emperor of Japan. We spoke for about five minutes and we couldn't uh, communicate well with each other but his job description just rang bells in my head and I told myself that I, I wanted to write about a character called the Emperor's Gardener. The setting of novels is of course always very important because it gives the reader uh, a sense of place. And in, in my novels I've always tr tried to create this feeling that the setting is, is itself uh, another character, a distinct character. It affects the character's moods as well when they walk through the garden. By affecting the characters' moods, I'd like to think that it affects the reader's moods as well. I don't think there can be a complete resolution of pain or guilt, because in real life that doesn't often happen. I wanted to reflect it in my novel, so there won't be, there, there isn't going to be a, a, a neat resolution to Yun Ling's problem. Thank you.